Joining us now, the host of Life, Liberty and Levin on Saturday and Sundays at 8 p.m. now and author of a brand new book, The Democrats Hate America, number one on Amazon. It just published it a few hours ago, officially out there. Mark, before we uh, get to your book, predictions on Merrick Garland tomorrow, knowing that Jim Jordan knows how to question and these guys and these women know where they're going with this. Do you think he'll say anything of worth? I think Mary Garland will rope a dope. That's what all these guys do. He does it. Christopher Ray does it. They'll hide behind some investigative language and so forth and so on. They're coordinating with the Democrats on that committee, no doubt about it. The Praetorian Guard will be there defending him. So we'll probably not learn a lot. But the American people already know that this man is diabolical. They already know that he is the mob lawyer for the mob family, the Biden family. Every single indictment that's been brought against Donald Trump and anybody else related to January 6th has received his approval. Any deal that was cut with uh, Hunter Biden and his lawyers a few months ago was made with his approval. He's violated the appointment of the special counsel process with this David Weiss, went outside the regulations. He violated it when he appointed uh, Jack the Ripper Smith because you're supposed to appoint a special counsel when it involves your own administration, not when it involves somebody else. And so he broke that tradition too. Uh, he refused to, p to protect Supreme Court justices when their Democrat Party militia was out there banging drums and yelling at them so their, some of their kids couldn't go to sleep. They're aggressively prosecuting now uh, pro-lifers. You have two people over 70 years old or three people yesterday who were convicted in a Washington, D.C. Uh, court of uh, protesting at an abortion clinic under this diabolical FACE Act, and they sent them immediately to prison. Immediately to prison because they're a grave threat. We know about his memo involving parents. This guy is the, the lawyer for the Democrat Party, which is why I wrote this book. And this lawsuit, by the way, by Abby Lowell against the IRS is a pathetic joke. That's not going to go anywhere. These men were protected by the whistleblower uh, statute. Uh, and uh, so now they're trying to turn Hunter Biden into a victim. Hunter Biden has victimized this country because he's done all the dirty work for his family, particularly for his father. And again, as I've discussed here weeks and weeks ago with Hannity and others, uh, the fact that they are bringing <clears throat> charges against him on the gun issues right. is a complete ruse. Not only could they have brought them years ago, but it has obviously nothing to do with what's going on with Joe Biden, who is protected. There's not even a criminal investigation into his participation in FARA violations, which he's a co-conspirator in. One day I'll explain that and all the rest of it. So this book, The Democrat Party Hates America, you guys, I on radio and the weekends and others, we're always talking about what's happening to this country. And if you notice... Other than us talking about the Republicans fighting with each other, we're never talking about a Republican agenda. What is the Republican agenda? They can't even agree on one. So that's a political party, as inept as that party is. The Democrat Party knows what it wants to do. The Democrat Party is the monopoly party in this country. When you think about the news that you report, or what people are talking about every single day, it involves an initiative or an outrage involving actions of the Democrat Party, or their surrogates. We pay clips of the media. A party state, that is, the Democrat Party is the party of the state. It is not a typical political party. It has devoured the culture, whether it is colleges and universities, whether it's our classrooms, whether it's entertainment, whether it's most of the media, it has devoured our culture. That's what autocratic parties do. It needs a state-run media in order to advance its cause, and it's got one. We don't have a free press. We have a press that's free to advance an ideological agenda. And with some exceptions, like, uh, like Peter, but a handful of exceptions, they go along with the agenda. There's not a dime's worth of difference between these, uh, these Sunday shows, except ours, quite frankly, and most of the newsrooms in this country and the Democrat Party's agenda. There's a reason for this. You have an open border. That's not a natural disaster. It's a man-made disaster. Okay, who created that disaster? And who continues to create that disaster? The Democrat Party. We have children in the classroom who are being taught what we used to call 
perversion, pornography, and even worse, about their genitalia, what they can do with their genitalia, if it's really their, their biological genitalia. I mean, this is sick. Okay, who's behind this? The teachers' unions, they support it 100%. Okay, that's an appendage of the Democrat Party. We don't have representative government anymore. Who's making all the laws? Biden through executive orders and the bureaucracy. Look, even in your home, uh, equipment, appliances in your home, did Congress pass laws to eliminate all these appliances? No. They, they push them out through the rubric of environment like the incandescent light bulb is going to kill people or contribute to global warming. A party that has the power to decide what kind of light bulbs you have in your home has unlimited power. And they are exercising it, and now they're exercising it through the police state to go after their political opponents. They're going after the NRA. They're going after the Federalist Society. Mm -hmm. They're going after Donald Trump. They're going after pro-lifers. They're going after parents. You have to be Helen Keller not to see it, as a matter of fact. What bothers me is that we talk about these things in the vacuum. Who is responsible for this? These people are responsible for this. The Republican Party doesn't even have an idea what's going on in this country and what's responsible for it. So the book, which is very hard to encapsulate in any interview, quite frankly, the book gets into the great detail on this, the history of the Democrat Party that has never accepted America. It's the party of the Confederacy. It's the party that caused the Civil War. It's the party of slavery. It's the party of segregation right up to the 1960s. You look at Franklin Roosevelt, their great hero. Franklin Roosevelt never <laughs> lifted a finger for the black community. As a matter of fact, he refused to talk to the NAACP. He didn't want black reporters at his press conferences. You've never heard this. I had to do research to dig this up because layer after layer after layer of Democrat propaganda and documentaries promoting this guy he refused to sign in 1940 a federal anti-lynching bill that hit his desk. That was a bipartisan bill because he was running for his third term and he didn't want to lose the South. Jesse Owens was appalled by him. He invited all the white Olympians in 1936 to the White House and excluded him. And Jesse Owens was asked, did Hitler snub you? And he said, Hitler never snubbed me. I never met him. FDR snubbed me. He didn't even send me a note. The great Joe Lewis was disgusted with Franklin Roosevelt because he wouldn't sign the anti-lynching bill. I could go on and on. Racism against blacks in this country wasn't Republicans. What Republican led a racist <clears throat> agenda against the black community? None. None. What Republican stood in the, in the doorhouse, in, in, the, in the doorways, so little black kids couldn't go to school with little white kids? Those weren't Republican governors. And then, so what the Democrat Party has been able to do, and it's in the book, has been able to project their own history onto the Republican Party, because Republicans don't even know the history of the Democrat Party, and they don't even know their own history. Republicans in the Senate don't know it. Republicans in the House don't know it. And if they knew more, then we could actually have a chance at clawing but, our way back to this Joe country. But Joe Biden knows it but because he, he teamed with some of them, didn't he? Joe Biden, he gets elected to the Senate, and what does he do? He not only befriends the biggest racists and segregationists coming out of Mississippi and other parts of the South, he's not only part of what they're trying to do, which is prevent integration in our public schools. He's one of the leaders. Right. He's one of the leaders. He signed on to what they were doing. He supported what they were doing. He used the most racist propaganda that you could possibly imagine. Joe Biden is a chameleon. Joe Biden was an anti-black racist. Today, the whitest guy in politics is now an anti-white racist. It's absolutely incredible. So what the Democrat Party has done is it's moved from the Confederacy and eugenics against black people and all of that to a party that now embraces what? American Marxism. That's what critical race theory is. It was developed by right. Marxists. Everybody knows right. that now. I wrote a whole book on it. That's the facts. They go after our history, you too. You hear them talking about redistribution of wealth, bottom up, middle out, while the bottom and the middle are suffering horribly under the Democrat Party. One last thing. The way to look at this in the future is through the lens of power. The Democrat Party doesn't give a damn about anybody. You see what's going on the border. 
people are dying, fentanyl's coming into this country, killing Americans. It's only happening because the Democrat Party and their leader will not secure that border. Everybody's scratching their head. Why are they doing this? Right. Simple. They want to turn Texas yeah. blue, and then the Republicans can never win another election yeah. under the Electoral College. The problem is Hispanic kids. They don't give a right. damn if New York City or yeah, New York right. is upset. Because they know they right. have him in the bag. Yep. Mark, we're going to go down to the border in just a minute. Uh, check out his brand new book. It's called uh, The Democrat Party Hates America. Mr. Levin, thank you very much for joining us live. Thanks, Mark. Mark, thank you. Guys, good luck. Th thanks for all the time. God bless. You got it. I'll talk to you on radio. God bless you too, Mark. Thank you.